This is the update for the Birthstone Beauties project pan that I'm doing in collaboration with a whole bunch of lovely ladies from the Fantastic Ladies. Everybody will be linked down below as always. Let's get straight into this one. There are a number of products I didn't touch at all. A number of products I got some really good progress on. So first we have Garnet from the Laroque Pro 1 palette. Didn't touch it at all. Uh, kind of forgot about it. Oops. <laughs> uh, Matte Amethyst Lipstick from um, LA Colors. Didn't touch this one. I was focusing on um, a lipstick in another project. Aquafoil from Glamadal Eyes. The pigment. Uh, did not touch this one. Kind of forgot I had it in here. <laughs> I mean, it's in the drawer with all the rest. I just didn't reach for it. I was very much focusing on um, particular products in March, like green and yellow stuff for a little mini project I was doing. So I didn't touch most of them. Um, the NYX Diamond Lust eyeshadow, again, did not touch that one in March. Then we have Emerald City, which is this green eyeliner from Mian. This was one of the ones that I was focusing on in March, and that is where we were last update, and that is where we are now. So that is a pretty big jump. I am very happy with that. So that was great progress. Um, it's just so huge, it doesn't look like it's ever going to finish. But we will get there. Uh, for um, The next one we had was Moonstone for June. This was the Sally Hansen Nail Polish in Moonstone. And uh, we had that much pro progress. Um, I tried to do some water marbling with this one. This does not work for more water marbling. Um, and I also did a bit of fluid art with it as well. Again, not great for that. Um, but it did mean that I got a fairly nice chunk. And that was pretty much just one manicure. And I got a massive like, chunk of use out of it, which is great. The Ruby Red lipstick from Inoxa was the lipstick... Uh, the lip liner that I was focusing on for March. Um, it is what I'm wearing underneath my Zurich um, soft matte lip cream from NYX. And this is the progress that we made. So we were up there at the last update and now we are down there. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think that is pretty good progress on um, a lip liner. I didn't, I mean, I wore makeup more in March than I did in February, but I still didn't wear it. It's not like I'm wearing it every day. If I was wearing it every day, this would have been well and truly gone. Um, so they have, like, that much left of it. And I always put it all over my lips. I don't just line my lips. That's just how it is. Then we have, for August, we have Jaded, the nail polish, which um, I was talking about decluttering. Um, and I still I really don't like this nail polish. It's supposed to dry fast and it doesn't. It's really thin. It's really patchy. It's really shrieky. Just, I just don't like it. But look at that massive chunk out of it. Uh, it was one of my focus nail polishes for March. Because it's green. Um, but what I actually did is I franken polished it with uh, a polish called XOXO. Which is in my ABC uh, project pan. Or A to Z project pan. Um, and that's where it was when I mixed them together. And that's where it is now. So I have actually used it. It doesn't really make me like jaded anymore. I, like, I love this colour. In fact, I'm wearing a very similar colour. Which is not one that's in a project. On my other hand, this is actually Green with Envy from Maybelline. It's, it's a similar kind of colour. Um, and I like it a lot more than I like jaded. It's a terrible polish. Um, but because I've been wearing it so much... Um, it'll probably not get used at all for a couple of months, to be honest. Um, the next one is All Night Blue from L'Oreal for uh, September. It's sapphire coloured, didn't touch it. Uh, next is Opal for October. This is the Opal eyeshadow in the Lorac Mega Pro. Uh, it is one right here. Again, I didn't touch it at all. Didn't touch it at all. 
Next we have Lemon Hand for November, you know, like citrine. It has a massive chunk out of it too. This was another polish that I was focusing on in March. I did some, tried to water marble with it. It doesn't water marble any more than jaded or um, moonstone does, quite frankly. I did a bit of fluid art with it, wore it a number of times. It's actually getting really hard to get it out of the bottle. It looks like there's heaps in there, and there actually is you know, quite a bit. But the actual brush itself, um, where it's currently sitting in the bottle, the polish itself is actually at that level, right, right, right there, on the brush. It's like, and that doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. It doesn't touch the bottom of the bottle. So in order to use it, I have to tip it on the side, which is a pain in the butt ski. But this polish requires multiple coats to get it anywhere near opaque, so that's why you tend to use quite a bit. But again, I used it so much in March that I probably won't touch it for a couple of months, so don't expect any progress on it next month. And the last one for December is a little denim, denim dress from NYX, and I did not touch this one at all. So that is my update for the Birthstone Beauties. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Fan Type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.